and welcome in everybody glad you're with us interleague baseball on MLB the show it's the Chicago Cubs and the Los Angeles Angels John Shambi along with Chris Singleton and Chris a guy that's been having a huge impact for this team all year Shohei Otani yeah Boogie's one of the pillars of this lineup and when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so about to get started here and getting a start for the Angels Patrick Sandoval base runners are tough to come by with him out there Chris well he brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season and when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets and the fact that he's not issuing free passes that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count allow him to move into the middle and deeper part of ball games so we'll see if that remains true in this one next one is off the play and a count two and one. Way inside, gets out of the way. And a pitch. In for a strike, three and two now. Ground ball, left side. Picks it up with a bare hand, and he beats it. He's safe. It was a healthy cut, but the same can't be said for the contact. He got just enough of the ball to put it in play, and that's all he needed. Tough play for the defense on what was kind of a swinging bump. Dansby Swanson stands in, and a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. The throw to third. Just so sound in his mechanics. He hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Shohei Otani up to the dish. He was one for four back on Wednesday. That's in there. That's strike one. Corner at third. Swanson at first with no outs. Off the mark there. It's a ball and two strikes. offering is outside this guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad he just battles up there he doesn't take a pitch off at all makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there you can tell Walsh over to Fletcher That's an out. they get the out but the run scores on the twin killing in half up to hit a switch hitter batting right line to left and it goes just foul. Tap back to the mound. Throws to first. Out number three. Back in Anaheim. Getting the nod on the mound. Shohei Otani. Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters. Batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. The 2 1. And a swing and a miss. To the right side. Sends it to first. One up, one down. Here's David Fletcher. All right, Singy, you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 
81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Down. Two away down. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's going to be Taylor Ward. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Ball one there. The 1-1. One, one. On the ground, right side. Corner over to first. That's the third out. Inning over. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's Jan Gomes. The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. That one misses. One ball, one strike. Daryl Parker assigned to umpiring duty behind home plate. And Boog with DP, it's sort of a coin flip on those borderline corner pitches. Doesn't really. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Jan Gomes takes him deep. His fourth home run of the season. And they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Trey Mancini now. Towards first. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. And now, Seiya Suzuki. That hits the dirt. Ball one. And he grounds one back up the middle. Nice grab. Nicely done for the out. Two outs, space is empty. And stepping in is the speedy Christopher Morrell. In the air out to center, Barrera settles underneath it and makes the play, and that's out number three. Cubs get one on the solo shot. It's now a 2 nothing ball. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Brandon Drury to the plate. That's in there. That's strike one. Singy Shohei Otani has been as advertised. Rookie of the year in 18. MVP in 21. He has impacted the game in a major way. And then, of course, he was on the cover of MLB The Show in 2022. Well, he's doing something that we've never seen done before and just absolutely phenomenal that he can be that dominant on the mound and be one of the top hitters in the game. And just watching that, it, it, it's got to take your breath away a little bit if you're a manager or a teammate to see this actually happening before your eyes. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike. That MVP I mentioned about Otani in 2021, he was actually a unanimous oh. MVP and the first unanimous oh. AL MVP since Mike Trout in 2014. Other guys that have done that, Ken Griffey Jr., Frank Thomas, Frank Robinson. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back here at the ballpark, top half of the third inning, and now Bader up to the plate. Swings and misses. 1-1. Oh, Puts it in the air out towards left center. Ward drifts towards it and makes the grab. Then there's one down. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is. And it's not too bad yet, but the field. Oh, look at this. Gathers and throws, and that's a great play for the out. A quick move to his left, fully extended there in front of the shortstop to make the grab. Up with it, then a strong, accurate throw across the diamond to complete this highlight play. And first offering is fouled off. The two out and nobody on. You want to go right after this guy. He's the number two hitter, which means if he gets on, you've got some thunder coming up behind him. And takes low for ball one.
And that's down it away. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And that's a base hit. And that extends the inning. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Otani in the box here lets that one go for a ball. He hit it to a double play his first time up. Comes up empty. That's strike two. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Swanson off of first with two away. Hit hard. That gets through. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now here is Ian Hat. Grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. Ball one, no strikes. Cubs made Ian Happ a first-round pick in 2015. He played at the University of Cincinnati as an infielder. Played a little bit of outfield, but a guy... Now this one gets through. Swanson headed for the plate. One run is in. Here's Otani flying around third. Fletcher with a relay throw, and he's in there as they score a pair on the play. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Caught it out front and ripped it down the line. And as soon as he saw it get through the infield, man, he started making that big turn towards second for the double. Yeah, and wins that gold glove as a left fielder. And it's a guy that was a pretty good center fielder as well. But, you know, one of the things for him is just being able to be in the same spot every day. I think it increases the comfort level and allows that athletic ability to really shine. Jan Gomes waits. Out to short Fletcher. Gathers and throws to first. And Gomes is retired. As we go to the last of the third. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Gio Urshela. One's the count. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, one. One, one now. That one the other way. Suzuki hauls it in for the out. One down. And next for the Angels, Luis Barrera. Just oh, off the outside part of the plate. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh. Yeah, there's a ball. Damn. Up the middle. Swanson oh. fires over to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Smash to the left side. Zips it to first, and the inning is over. Start of the fourth, and here's the first baseman, Trey Mancini, and the pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Barrera ranging back, looking up. That one hops against the fence. The throw into second. But he's in there easily. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Suzuki swings through that one as he comes to the play for the second time today. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Gosh, a little late on that breaking ball. I don't think he recognized it out of the hand. Just a little tardy. Gonna have to regroup here. And that's downstairs and outside. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Matt Moore getting loose out there. Berea getting loose as well. center and that'll fall for a base hit stop sign goes up at third runners at the corners nobody out hitting is really easy for some guys one thing that I can see already his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time and guys like that 
they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it, run around the goal, pitch misses. Throw to second, tag, out at second. Clearly right there, trying to set themselves up for a big inning, trying to get two guys in the scoring position with nobody out. I mean, that could explode right here, but just didn't work right there. Thrown out at second base. They still got a chance, though, with this runner at third. Got to execute. Don't waste this opportunity. Kicks and deals. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Margot puts the squeeze on that one. Runner tagging from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And the lead is up to five. Harrison Bader, the next cup to hit. And first offering is fouled off. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Next offering down in the dirt. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. The pitch. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Two two down. In the dirt. Ohapi gathers, throws the first. That completes the strikeout. And here it comes. Softly hit the third. One out in the bottom of the four. And the batter will be the shortstop, David Fletcher. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Fletcher retired. Two down. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. Strike one. That one's in there, and it's 0-2. No ball, two strikes. And oh, ball good. one. 0-2 oh, curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that, and good job. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Matt Moore. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Out towards right center field. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Up next to the Dansby Swanson, the next to hit. Dansby Swanson. And the nope, first pitch ball. misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Just oh. missed. The pitch. Ball that down. There's a strike. Base knock center field. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Pulls in with a double third hit for him today. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Even though center fielders are amazing at tracking down balls these days, there's still a lot of room out there, and it's a big field. So if you hammer one to center like that, there's a decent chance you're picking up extra bases. The lefty, the 1-0. -on. One out and a runner at second. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. That one missed. Pitch misses, and now three and one. Runner leads away at second. Good plate appearance there. 
able to take the walk. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. The 1 0. This one high in the air to left center. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's two down. The battle. So first and second with two outs. Jan Gomes, the next Cub to hit. He's already homered in this game. Swings through that one. 0 oh 1. In the on deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good hittable fastball early in the count. And fouled off. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Drury. That misses, one, and no that's ball right. one. On the ground, right side, over to first, and the leadoff hitter retired in now the fifth. First and now the first baseman, Jared, Jared Walsh. Whoa. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. In the air right field, Suzuki has a beat on it. Snags it for the second out. Two outs, space is empty. Now it's Anthony Rendon. That one at triple digits. Anthony Rendon, an outstanding player in college. He went to Rice, the sixth overall pick by the Nationals in the 2011 draft, and then eventually signed with the Angels as a free agent. Don't forget saying he was part of that Nats team that won it all in 2019. That one just misses. And pretty remarkable that the kid from Houston comes back to beat the Houston Astros in the World Series so loved in that town and unfortunately had to break their hearts with that one that misses the zone and now it's three and two triple digits on that last pitch and the Angels are gone in order Carlos Estevez gets the call from the pen well they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Mancini lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Swing and a miss. And it's a ball and a strike. And the righty deals. And a count one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals, and it's even up. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A-B going. And he deals. And now it's going to be Seiya Suzuki. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Suzuki goes five feet, 11 inches, 29 years old, and he was born in Japan. Next pitch is outside. Japan has made a major impact on Major League Baseball over these last few decades. We've seen players completely change the game. Line drive. Barrera puts it away for the out. 
And there's one away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. And that one hammered Barrera. Going back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. That one is absolutely belted. And out of here. Harrison Bader leaves the yard. And they tack on to their lead. It's 7-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Here's Nico Horner. And that one in the air center field. And it falls. And that keeps the inning alive. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to, and you're never oh, trying to do that as a hitter, but when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. Righty to the plate. That one down the line. On the run, sends it over to first. That ends the frame. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two. Well, we go bottom six, and now the DH, Gio Urshela. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time, and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Toss to Mancini. One up, one down. Here's the center fielder, Luis Barrera. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. The 1-2. Got him looking for the K. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Logan Ohapi. And that's outside. There's a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. One ball. Swings two through strike. that one. Two balls, two yeah. strikes to count with two outs. And that one is inside. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Angels go quietly there. Andrew Watts will take Good over here. Please. He pitched yesterday, Number and we'll see him once again. Number here comes 15. a pitch. Andrew. Swing and a ball popped up. Fletcher moves under it. Brings it in. One away. So digging in, Ian Hat. First pitch, not close. Just missed. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. That one in for a strike, two and two. Good eye in that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And he hits a ground ball right side. Steps on first for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Jan Gomes. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. On the ground to the left. Fletcher. Tosses across oh, the first. Down. And Gomes is retired. 
set for the last half of the seventh. And now the right fielder, Manuel Margot. That one's in there. Strike one. They say it went. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. Now at the plate, David Fletcher. Fly ball down the line. Hap heads towards it. And puts the squeeze on that. Two down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Next pitch has popped up. Gomes makes the play, and that is that. Angels go down one, two, three. Jaime Berea gets the ball now. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Barrera raging back towards the wall. Hits the fence. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Putting some good swings on the ball. That's his second extra base hit in this one. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Suzuki, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Next one is off the plate at one and one. The pitch. And strike two. Mancini stands at second with no outs. This one in the air right field. Margot makes the catch and there's one gone. So up next, Christopher Morell. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Flied out to the warning track. Out to short. Whips it to first. And they got him. And next for the Cubs, Harrison Bader. There's a high chopper. And he's safe at first. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. Horner at the plate now. That's ball one. High chopper to third. Bare hand grab. And he'll just eat it. That's an infield single. Bell Boogie clearly swung over the top of that pitch, but still got enough of it to put it in play. You call that a swinging bunt, and as an infielder, you're never expecting that. So it can be a really tough play that catches you by surprise. Next thing you know, he's safely at first. Kicks and fires. Line to left. Ward makes the grab, and that's the inning. Back in Anaheim, bottom of the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Brandon Drury. Ripped to third and caught. And he's now just five outs away. He's got a real shot at this thing. Yeah, Boog, he is rolling just in one of those grooves where he looks pretty unbeatable today. And it's one and one. That one is upstairs. Left hand batter waits. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. The Halos yet to pick up a hit here. One down, base is empty. Got him swinging. Well, I've always said it's tough. A elevated fastball you see so well, hard to lay off of. Well, when you're talking about 100 sorry, miles per hour, cool. chances of catching up are next to none. So you see that one just blown right by oh, him. Oh, I think you're going to have to start a lot earlier if you're going to catch up to that speed. Next offering is in for a strike.
swing and a miss and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat angels held in check welcome back all set for the start of the inning now it's the DH Shohei Otani right side and foul ball Berea 6-1 righty 27 years old and he was born in Panama swings and misses that is strike two And one and two. Righty delivers. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The one two. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. And now Ian Happ. Foul ball. And now the 0 1. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Jan Gomes digs in now. Ground ball could be two. They get one. Out. On to first, double play, and that's the inning. Back here at Angel Stadium, bottom of the ninth, here's Gio Urshela. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes nope. like never before. Two balls, no strikes. And a pitch. Popped up. And that will drop foul. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They're going to make the play. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters frozen for strike three. Ferreira in the box again. Takes a strike. And that one lifted in the air center field. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. And there's two away. 26 up and 26 down. One more out for a perfect game. This is awesome, Boo. On the verge oh, of one. baseball history here, and certainly one of the most dominating pitching performances we've seen. Everyone locked in right now. Swing and a miss. Got him. A perfect ending to a perfect game. Just unbelievable. I was nervous up here in the booth. I can only imagine what his teammates and even he felt out there on the mound closing this thing out. Everyone will remember this perfect game, and it'll be notched in Cooperstown forever. the final line score tonight first for the victorious Chicago Cubs eight runs on 16 hits no errors they left seven men on base for the Angels no runs on no hits no errors and they left no runners on base 